Kidd, California. The gentleman from California is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the gentleman, the chairman of the Appropriations Committee, for yielding and thank him for the great work that he's done on getting this bill to the floor. Likewise, the chairman of the Defense Appropriations Subcommittee, they have done yeoman work to help provide for our national defense. I agree with much of what the gentlelady from New York, my good friend, said. Sequestration is bad. And, and if we don't pass this CR, we'll feel worse than the effects of the sequestration. We will shut down the whole government. Nobody wants to see that. And, and so I, I commend her for what she says. This is not perfect, but it keeps a lot of people working. And uh, I think it's very, very important that we get it done. As chairman of the House Armed Services Committee, I'm happy to see us voting to include a full year appropriations, uh, defense appropriations bill, as well as full year military construction and veterans affair bill. This is very important. At least we have one committee that can do regular order still, and I think that is very important. Enacting a full year DOD appropriations bill is the first step toward restoring funding for our military, which has been whipsawed by the dual combination of the sequester and the CR that we're operating under. None of our current, currently serving service chiefs, the chief of the Army, Navy, Air Force, the Marines, including the, the uh, chief of, 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 the, of the, all of the services, in their time have ever operated under a, a real budget. Most of the members of Congress haven't served 